I just want to say sorry to Mike's mom, Austin's mom, and Derek's mom. As this was my project, and this is my fault. I love you, mom. Mike, Austin, Derek, oh please be you, I'm so scared right now, oh the intensity light, it's increasing as I get close, guys is that you, Tur please turn off the light, please, the intensity light is getting too powerful at this close a distance, <laughs> that's not you guys. Okay, so here's our patient, and our SID, and our tube, and our x-ray photons. <laughs> okay, so here's Austin again, our patient. Okay, here's our SID. You will notice that we increased our SID and we're going to take some shoot some more x-rays at Austin. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I could stand here all day due to those that uh, increased SID. about the inverse square law. Well, it's easier than sucking on a straw. So let the rag crew break it down for you. The intensity of the x-ray beam and the square of the distance is proportional over sleeve. So what do we mean? Well, as the SID is increased, the intensity is decreased which means a lot less dose and protecting the patient most. So it isn't as good as AEC because density is decreased, our image will become deceased and leads us to more repeats. So what does that mean? The intensity of the X-ray beam, the square of the distance is proportional labor sleep. Intensity equals one over this thin square. So when we ask you a question, don't be scared. With an intensity of 500 and an SID of 40, you change the SID to 70, then the intensity becomes 16. Do you know what we mean? The intensity of the x-ray beam and the square of the distance is proportional inversely. Now you know what to do, and it's all because of the raccoon.